What's up, y'all? And thank you so much for tuning in to Taylor Time TV. And on today's episode, this is season two, episode one of How to Start Your Business. If you guys missed out on season one of How to Start Your Business, make sure that you go up here and you watch that entire playlist. Once you finish that playlist, you will be ready for season two. This is more so of the level up. So we probably should call this season something different. I don't know, level up your business. You guys comment down below what that should be called. But this episode is going to be all about how I got my dream car, a 2022 Jeep Wrangler with a personal business loan, with no business credit, no money down, no co-sign and no trade-ins. As you guys know, I love to get my gems on my business tips how to live a boss lifestyle on a budget, and how to generate more money for your business. I love to give you guys the gems that aren't really on the internet or they don't really go into a lot of details. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. You guys already know you can always support me as a creator and as a brand by going to my merch. That website will be above and it will also be in the pinned comment and in the description box as well as all the links that you guys will need will be in the description box as well. And let's get straight into today's episode. So just this month for my birthday, I was able to purchase my dream car, which was a 2022 Jeep Wrangler. It has the lift, it has the big old tires. I don't even know what number of tires it is, but I know that I absolutely am in love with this car and I've wanted this car forever. And I was able to purchase this car under a business loan. Okay, so I'm going to be telling you guys how to do that because this car is going to make my business money. So not only will you be able to purchase a new car or just a car in general you will also be able to make money because it will be a business car so we're going to get into exactly what that's going to entail okay let's first break down why a business would need a car so first of all a business can utilize a car for many different reasons such as write-offs promotion marketing so on and so forth as i always say on this channel i am not a tax professional i am not a financial advisor you guys will need to look into your own research when it comes down to what you can write off what you can't write off accounting so on and so forth i'm not even going to pretend to be someone who has expertise in that i did go to business school i do have my master's but i'm not going to get into that because that is not my specialty okay i advise my own consultants i suggest you guys do the same this is just my story on how this worked. You guys got my how to start a clothing line video all the way to 500,000 views and I am forever eternally grateful for that. Thank you so much. Because of that, I was able to get to where I am today. So I'm just giving back more gems to you guys because I'm always, always, always going to owe you guys for giving me so much love on that video. So again, if you want to know how to buy your dream car under your business name, no money down, no cosign and no trade-ins, keep on watching. In order to purchase this car, you are going to need personal credit and an LLC. So let's get right into that. The first things first, you're going to want to build your personal credit. So if you do not have good personal credit or you don't have any credit at all, like I didn't a couple of years ago, let's go ahead and start there. So what I had to do was I had no credit at all. I went to my local bank, and I told my bank that I needed to build my credit and I wanted a secured credit card. So with that secured credit card, I believe I had to make a deposit and an application. So I believe I put like $500, maybe $300 to $500 on my secured credit card. So you're paying for this. This is a secured credit card, but it's your money that you're giving the bank. They're going to give you a credit line, a secured credit line, and you're going to pay that off, okay? So let me break this down again. So I gave them $500 in my application for a secured credit card. They're going to send me that secured credit card with a $500 limit. Okay, I'm going to purchase things on there, and I'm going to pay off that credit card. Why you want to do this is because it's going to show the bank that you can make your payments on time, you can be trusted, and it's going to build your credit history. To you build that credit you are able to get a real credit card. Let me put it like that, okay? And you can also ask them for an increase in your credit limit. You guys, every six months to a year, you can ask for an increase in your credit limit. And if you have been making payments on time, most of the time your bank will go ahead and give you that credit limit because you're gaining more trust and you're building a business relationship with your bank. Once they do that, you're going to continue to do that over and over again. And what I mean by that is you're going to 
apply for credit cards or credit cards are going to start coming to you make sure you're reading up on these credit cards you're looking up the apr percentages you're looking up good credit cards make sure these are credit cards that you can actually pay off and after you have um, a couple of credit cards i would say about i have about three or four credit cards at that time you can apply for a business credit card okay and they're good they're probably going to give you a very small credit limit i think i only got approved for 500 on my first business credit card and my second business credit card they gave me a thousand because they saw that i was paying and what you want to do with all of these credit cards is you always want to only use like 10 15 percent or less of that credit card whatever that amount is that you're approved for and then you want to always pay that off in full ahead of time. That is going to boost your credit score, okay? Every time you pay off in full ahead of time, you get a boost on your credit score. So some people just pay payments because they rather have cash. Right now, we're trying to build credit so we can get our dream car. So right now, you need to really stay focused and you need to be paying this credit card off in full before the deadline so you can hurry up and boost your credit. Now, there are different methods that are online about how you guys can get the business um get your car in your business name with your personal credit but this is just my way how i did it i was able to apply for an llc the first week of june and i got my car under my llc in like two weeks after that so i'm just telling you guys my method there are a thousand ways to skin a cat get in the comments down below and tell your methods as well there are a ton of videos on youtube that give great advice as well i'm just giving you what i used after doing this over and over you want to be checking your credit okay you can just download credit karma or some kind of credit app like that again that's not going to be a hundred percent um accurate but once i ran my credit through the dealership that I used, they told me that it was kind of close to what my credit karma was saying. So it's gonna give you your TransUnion and your Equifax and all that. You want your personal credit to be at the lowest 650 and the highest 720. I more so want you guys to lean towards 720 and up so that you don't have to do the money down, you don't have to do a trade-in, you don't have to do a cosigner. When it's higher like that, you don't you're not gonna have to do any of those okay because you really don't want to do that because this is a business car you guys this isn't a personal car for you to go and flex this is a business car so you want to make sure this is something that you can handle and this is turning a liability into an asset okay this is how people get rich and this is how people live a luxurious lifestyle through their business all right so we have to be responsible and we have to make a business decision okay i do want to add in a bonus tip if you've watched the video this far you can also get your parent or a guardian or someone who has good credit to put your name and add your name to their card and once they're done with that card they can cut up their card or they can take their name off and then that credit limit will be yours i was able to also do that with my mom my mom had like a five thousand dollar limit on a credit card and i didn't have a lot of credit so her putting my name to her credit card and not using the credit card and just letting me use it and me only using that 10 percent and paying it off in full was able to build my credit and my mom's credit and that's a way that you can get back to your parents as well because it helps them out as well or whoever decides to put you on your card make sure you guys are being responsible and actually paying those off because they don't have to add you to their card that is their credit they're putting in jeopardy so make sure you guys are doing right by them as well but that's just a bonus tip on how you can also boost your credit pretty quickly as well by using someone else's credit card and getting your name added to that you guys know it wouldn't be a Taylor time tv episode if i didn't say something controversial that people in the comments wouldn't be arguing about like they always do now what i'm gonna say is what i've said in the first video do not get an llc until your business is profitable i do not care you guys people go on oh you can get sued da, 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 da. there's only so much they can do okay so don't sweat that i promise you do not get an llc until your business is profitable not just making money profitable because you're going to have to pay in all these taxes and all this extra stuff that you would not have to pay if you just had a sole proprietorship that's why i did not get an llc until june 1st okay i've had my business for two to three years and i just got an llc and i only got an llc because i wanted this car and you get approved under llc not a sole proprietorship usually so that's the only reason why i got an llc 
Otherwise, I didn't want to deal with it. Now, again, everybody's going to be different compared to your taxes and your finances. And if you're working or if you're just solely running a business, it's going to be different for everybody. But I'm giving you what works for me. Okay, now for the good stuff, actually getting your car. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to either go to a credit union, a bank or the dealership. There are many different reasons why someone would use one over the other. You just have to do your own research on that because that's honestly a whole other video. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube explaining the pros and cons of each. Personally, I went through the dealership. A lot of people prefer to go through a credit union. I had my reasons for going through a dealership. So what you want to do is when you go in there, whoever you go to, you're going to ask them if they have a commercial loan department and if you can get a personal guarantee. Okay, so just to back up for a minute, you're going to go on your um, state site and apply for your LLC. You're going to get your EIN number, okay? That's free. Your EIN number is free. Your LLC is going to depend on your state what that cost is going to be. Some states are higher and some states are lower. You're going to go to the credit union or the dealership with that information and you're going to apply for a personal guarantee through a commercial auto loan. You're gonna get approved and you're gonna sign off with that car under your business name. Now, businesses do have a higher interest rate because they're a business and businesses are riskier than people are. Um, what they told me was that, you know, businesses go under all the time. So they need to report back to the people. So that's why your interest rate will be higher under the business auto loan than it would be if you probably just got a car under your personal credit. But we aren't doing this to get a new car, you guys. We're doing this to build our business credit and to generate revenue for our business. So the personal guarantee is going to get you the commercial auto loan, but if you default in your commercial auto loan, it's going to get reported to your personal credit. So that's why it was so important for us to build our personal credit because we didn't have business credit, okay? We didn't have business credit because we didn't have anything we were paying on with our business besides our business credit card if you were able to get that. Now, buying this car and getting this car with a commercial auto loan is also going to build your business credit. So are you sticking with me so far? We're building our personal credit. We're building our business credit. We're getting a new car, that's a perk. We're using that car for promotional services to generate revenue for our business. As I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of perks of getting a car under a commercial loan. There are write-offs. You can use your car for promotional services. You can put your name on your car, your business on your car, your number, all of that. Um, it's very lucrative. It's a lot of reasons why someone would want a business car. You know, you can go take your clients places here and there. It's always great to have a car in general, but if you can get your car on your business loan, even better. Once I got approved for my commercial auto loan, which they called me back in about a day or two and told me, hey, you were approved. This is who approved you. These are going to be, this is gonna be your car note, so on and so forth. Once I got approved, I got a message from Credit Karma about two to three weeks later saying that my credit, my personal credit shot up 30 points because I had got approved for that. Yours could be more, it could be less. I'm just saying we're building our business credit and we're building our personal credit at the same time while getting a new car. Once you're building that business credit, then you can start applying for business loans. So we're gonna get into that a little bit later on because I'm only at the business car auto loan part, okay? But stay tuned for more because we're always going to be leveling up. That is what this new season of Taylor Time TV is all about. So what are you going to actually use your business car for? Well, it just depends on your business. I plan to put my brand on my business car, which will promote my brands. I plan to use my business car for commercials. I plan to use my business car for a promo. As you guys know, I do sponsored content. You can always do lifestyle sponsored content in a car. I plan to use it for a lot of things and I will be showing you guys that on my channels. I will be completely pimping out my new car for my business and you guys are going to see how I'm going to modify the car and how I'm going to be able to write off some of those modifications and use those modifications to make money for my business. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for that and also follow me on Instagram for that as well. And comment down below what tips you guys want next for your business and I would love to make another video because I will be back on YouTube now.
All right, you guys, that's everything that I have for you. If I missed anything, please comment down below. Again, this is all new to me as well. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know what I was doing new with my business. Thank you so much for tuning in to Taylor Time TV. Please binge watch the last episodes and catch up on the new episodes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. That's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to Taylor Time TV. Mwah.